The six teams competing in the Volvo Ocean Race faced a lack of wind on Thursday, forcing them to alter their route to New Zealand. Well, the teams left China on Monday, bound for Auckland, where they are due to arrive around March 8th. VOA's Caroline Turner has this update. On January 22nd, the Volvo Ocean Race resumed Leg 3, Stage 2, from the Maldives to Sanya, China. The conditions were hot. Puma took the most northerly position, shadowed by overall race leader Telefonica. The fleet continued heading east, sailing within 15 nautical miles of each other. Puma had the lead, followed by Camper, Groupama, Abu Dhabi, Sanya, and Telefonica, the overall race leader in last place. Just uh, spying on Camper and checking out their trim so we can uh, see if we're similar or, or see the difference between us and them and everything looks much the same. Sweltering conditions on deck created sauna-like conditions below. Going up wind so there's a little water over the deck and can't open hatches or anything. So it makes it pretty sticky and uncomfortable. As the fleet came closer to the Malacca Straits, Telefonica resolved their sail problems and was in fourth place. On the wind past Sumatra and then into Malacca Straits where the, uh, the drama begins. The fleet entered the Straits of Malacca neck and neck. The Straits are full of dangers like debris, fishing boats, ships and unpredictable weather. Camper was first to feel the effects. We sort of got rolled by Telefonica and Pim up to weather of us through the night, then they took off, took off on a cloud that we got parked up on, so about now 13 miles in front of the bow. So we had a loss, 10 and a half miles to Telefonica. We lost 14.6 to Puma. Camper found more bad luck. Extremely light winds along the coast left them in fourth place. Pretty frustrating actually when you know that guys have made some big miles on us out further out to the south but um, you know things change pretty quickly so um, we need to make some miles. Telefonica, Groupama and Puma battled for first place within five miles of each other with over 1,000 nautical miles to go. <coughs> Telefonica came in first in China on Saturday February 4th to complete the second stage of Lake 3 from the Maldives in 12 days. They won 24 points and hold the lead for the overall race. Skipper Iker Martinez says Telefonica's route was dangerous. Well, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling fantastic. No, I'm, uh, I'm also feeling a little bit strange no? because it was uh, pretty stressful, that leg. We, we always have a threat uh, not only of losing, uh, losing the leg, but, uh, but break something important, have a collision or, or something else. No? So uh, for sure it was the, the most dangerous leg I ever did in a boat. Groupama came in second and Camper was third, but stays in second place overall. February 5th, Sanya sailed into their home port. The first Chinese sailor in the race, Ten Tiger Zhan, greeted friends and family. Extremely happy, especially in the Chinese traditional New Year. So um, uh, next leg we will back again. The teams of the Volvo Ocean Race were in port in Sanya, China for two weeks before beginning their next leg of the Round the World race to New Zealand on Sunday, February 19th. Carolyn Turner, VOA News.